welcome everyone welcome to my youtube channel design with saad ahmed in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a professional youtube thumbnail for your videos and by following some easy steps in adobe illustrator so let's start first of all i have selected few colors that on which our thumbnail will depend so first of all i am going to grab the rectangle tool from here and create a nice rectangle that will be actually the basically the base of the thumbnail Now what's next? We are going to apply half tone effect on this shape. So how to create a half tone effect? Select ellipse tool and make a nice circle using the stroke of white color and disable the fill. Okay. Now place inside the boundary of this object that we have created. so whatever that effect will be created it will remain in the inside the boundary now create a duplicate of it and scale it down here okay now increase the stroke of the middle of the smaller circle and leave the stroke width of 1 point of the outer circle okay select both go to windows stroke and select dash line and adjust the spacing of the bigger circle with two points gap or we can make it three okay and for the smaller circle we can uh, make a gap of let's say 15 or we can make it 10 right okay now select both circle we can reduce its gap to 8 it uh, seems to fine to me okay now select both circles go to object blend blend options select specified steps and just for instance we can input value of 30 initially and press okay go to object blend make that has a shortcut all control b and make so here you can see a nice half tone effect is created if you are not satisfied with the result you can increase or decrease the number of a specified steps or the stroke width of the circle to get the desired result for me uh, it seems fine now as you can see the background is not uh, much attractive so we have to add some more elements to the background so what i have decided i have decided to create uh, a using the polygon tool and create a triangle now grab the rotate tool Press somewhere in the middle of the background, and by holding the Alt key, just drag it and make it around 30 degrees. Okay. Now keep on pressing Control D. Now what we are going to do? We have to add some text. seeing that the text is not visible so we are bringing it on front and reducing the opacity of this circle to 30 or that's a 20 so that the text should be visible more we can reduce the opacity of this as well to 15 
yeah now you can see that text is well visible okay now let's add some more elements okay uh now our text is ready what we are going to do we have to apply we have to incorporate an image over here so i have already made available the image you can select any other image or create on photoshop as well and simply import it here now to make it more attractive we have to add few icons as well let's add a drop shadow effect on this text as well <coughs> now we have added the drop shadow effect as well on the main text okay now let's add some icons so i have already created these icons you can also create okay and we are going to effect 3d extrude and let's make it 3d now we are going to add social icon social media icons so i believe a very good thumbnail has been created <laughs> 